now let us discuss here about propositional logic in artificial intelligence propositional logic is a knowledge representation technique in ai to represent knowledge we uses various techniques like uh, preposition logic predicate logic etc but preposition logic is the simplest one among all the techniques preposition is a declarative sentence which can be either true or false but not the both simultaneously so the truth value of preposition may be either true or false but it can't be true and false simultaneously let us see some examples let us take uh, several sentences there are seven days in a week yes in a week we have seven days it is true so we can say that it is a preposition preposition means the truth value may be either true or false but it can't be both phi is a prime number second example yes phi is a prime number so the truth value is true so it is also a preposition next third one mumbai is capital of india no delhi is capital of india so it is false so the truth value is false so this is also a preposition truth value may be either true or false do you speak telugu so this is not a preposition why because it is some question telugu speaking people can speak telugu other people can't speak telugu so this is not a preposition questions comments are not prepositions interrogations are not prepositions next one x plus y greater than 5 so this is also not a preposition suppose if x and y values are 1 and 2 so 1 plus 2 means 3 3 greater than 5 condition is false let x value is 10 y value is 20 so 10 plus 20 means 30 30 greater than 5 so this statement is returning true for some values false for some values so this statement is not a preposition let us take another example some students are intelligent so some students may not be intelligent and some students may be intelligent so this is also not a preposition why because the the truth value is both true and false simultaneously prepositions are mainly classified into two types first one is atomic preposition second one is composite preposition atomic preposition means simple prepositions it can't be divided further we can't use any logical connectives in atomic prepositions uh he, if you take all these examples are uh, uh, prepositions only simple prepositions atomic prepositions only there are seven days in a week phi is a prime number all these statements are prepositions only that means atomic prepositions only here out of these uh, uh, six examples uh, the first two three are prepositions whereas fourth one fifth one and sixth one is not prepositions so atomic preposition means simple prepositions we can't use any connectives whereas composite uh, preposition means it is a combination of two or more prepositions we can use logical connectives let's see what are the logical connectives uh, conjunction disjunction negation conditional biconditional so these five are uh, uh, logical connectives so totally we have five logical connectives okay so what is the first one conjunction conjunction means it is represented by and symbol conjunction means and symbol so let we have two prepositions like uh, uh, p and q uh, then uh, uh, the conjunction of p and q is denoted by p and q conjunction is denoted by the symbol and symbol uh, let we have four four prepositions like this uh, p preposition is it is raining q it is cool r preposition 2 plus 3 equal to 5 s yes, preposition 1 greater than 2 uh, let us see about uh, conjunction uh, we can write p and q as it is raining what is p it is raining what is q it is cool so we can write p and q as it is raining and it is cool so we have to use and connective okay uh, whereas uh, we can write uh, uh, what are r and s r r means uh, let us see first two table for the p and q Uh, here we have uh, two prepositions so we will have totally four possible combinations true true false 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 true and false false so p and q means if the prepositions are false and false 
if the if both the propositions are true the result is true otherwise the result is false so that means if one of the proposition is false it returns false as the result so true false we have one false 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 true one false 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 whereas p and q both are true so it is returning true as the result uh, let us see about the result of r and s so here what is r here r means 2 plus 3 equal to 5 yes 2 plus 3 result is 5 only 5 equal to 5 condition is true so the result of r is true what about the result of s 1 greater than 2 false so here we are using and operator so r and s true false means false so false is the result so now let us see about disjunction disjunction is denoted by r symbol disjunction means r symbol let us see the example here p or q it is raining or it is cool so here we are using r corrective let us see about what is r here uh, here uh, uh, if one of the proposition is true then it returns true as the result that means if both are false it returns false as the result okay if one of the proposition is true then it returns true as the output so true true means true one of the proposition is true true one of the proposition is true true both are false both are false means false as the result now let us see the output of r r s so what is r here true what is s here false true or false means true only so it returns true as the output now let us see about negation uh, negation is uh, denoted by this symbol here we can apply negation on a single preposition two prepositions are not needed we can apply negation on a single preposition uh, let us uh, let us take uh, uh, p what is p it is raining so negation p can be written as it is not raining uh, let us uh, let us see r what is r 2 plus 3 equal to 5 so what is the truth value true so negation or result is false so likewise we can write so that means here if the preposition is true then negation p returns false so likewise if the preposition is false uh, then the negation p returns true now let us see the third one conditional so conditional means it can also be called as implication so conditional is represented by arrow symbol if we want we can use two horizontal lines and uh, some greater than symbol we can use single line or double lines also but we need to have only right arrow here okay uh, let us see what is uh, uh, here p implies q so this can be pronounced as if then q if p then q if p if the first preposition then the second preposition if p then q uh, here uh, the result is very very simple true false means false whereas true true means true false true means true false false means true true false means false remaining situation is true let us see an example p implies q if it is raining then it is cool if it is raining then it is cool okay so if then if then we have to use those uh, two keywords uh, let us see an example here what is the result of r implies yes so here what is r true what is yes false so true false means false so it produces false as the result let us assume that uh, uh, we have yes implies r as the preposition yes implies r what is yes false what is r true so false true means true only it returns true as the result now let us see the last one that is biconditional so biconditional is represented by uh, a, a, a double arrow symbols okay we have to use left arrow as well as right arrow we can use single line or we can use double line also okay double line, double arrows okay uh, here the truth table is true false means false false true means false true false means false false true means false whereas true true means true uh, false false means true okay let us see an example here here we are writing for q q biconditional p what is q here if it is cool uh, here biconditional is represented by i i e f f i f f f means if and only if if and only if if and only if here we are writing for q implies uh, p uh, what is q here uh, p if it is cool if it is cool if and only if it is raining if it is cool if and only if it is raining uh, next uh, let us see here uh, here we are writing for q implies p uh, uh, let us write for uh, uh, r implies yes why because uh, uh, they, ret they returns the logics as true or false let us write for r uh, r by conditional yes 2 plus 3 equal to 5 yes true whereas yes uh, returns 
false as the result so true false means false as the output okay so this is about uh, uh, preposition logic in uh, artificial intelligence